Say something, Jason. Why are you there? Well, boy, I'm by the bum bum cow colour wall, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. It's, 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 it's a love. Bow. You may say that noise part pool representing for Must Bus TV. Where you're getting all the local artists, reviews, news, everything. You check it. If you want your music to be on Must Bus TV, link Must Bus, you check it. If you want to know about all artists, check Must Bus, you don't know. We must bust. Must bust tell them your loss is my sauce. Boom. Pow. Welcome once again to a new edition of Must Bust TV where we bring you news, reviews and interviews of St. Lucian artists both local and abroad. And today in the news. St. Lucian boy, look Jamai. Yes, see yeah. That Bam Bam Mall real make Facebook and social media active for the past few days. Perry B, mm -hmm. big up your damn self brother. Mm -hmm. So I see, we have some trending news going on there. And this news pertains to the almighty Bam Bam Wall. If you don't know what a Bam Bam Wall is, it's the rebel wall that was built as a retainer for the higher ramp of the highway opposite Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. And this wall was made famous by our Lucian women during Carnival. Because when you see Carnival time come, these women would go on that wall there. And you would see Fat Bam Bam, Slim Bam Bam, Fat Bam Bam, Mech Bam Bam. Medium sized bam bam, strong bam bam, soft, uh, all kind of bam bam, messy. In a fong again, eh? Mm -hmm. In fong again. On the wall there. And it does be so amazing to see the beauty from the other side. But in that day, a good friend of mine, Perry B, who I've known for a long time, was employed to spray and paint the bam bam wall. If you did not know, Perry B is an, a singer of dancehall and soca music. Um, he's also an artist who paints and does murals and all sorts of work with paint and brush yeah very talented it um just to clarify a bit many of the events that you have gone to for this carnival season there or jazz and kind of thing and you see certain plywood paint drawings different little artwork pertaining to the event it was most likely done by perry b now, before I continue, I want to leave Perry B link for Facebook in the description there. So if you want somebody to do work like that for you, you can link Perry B. Same speed. But let's get to the topic at hand. The main reason that the Bamba Mall went viral was not just because the artist took a good bit of hours. I think he was there from 3 o'clock in the morning doing that job. But the issue is someone took a photo image on the highway before the work was before the work was completed and that went viral on facebook because the topic was is the government looking to promote gays on the bambam wall or is this a conspiracy by the government to push a gay agenda i reposted that particular post it went viral even further and the topic got heated and then the different opinions started coming in some people were for it, some people were against it because of the opinion and that the colors, all of the cedar colors, like it's a bag of skittles and it, and in the mindset, it is printed that those colors are for the LGBTQ flag and it promotes the gay agenda. Now, first off, eh, I want to say that those colors are not the gay colors because colors is from the almighty and people take the colors and do what they want with it. The gays took the colors, or, or I say the color, quote unquote, the color of the rainbow, and made it significant for them on the earth to show, well, you know, and wherever you see those colors, that means I'm gay. But the artist's job wasn't done yet. The first set of painting you saw there was the base or the background color. Because when you're doing work like that, you have to paint in layers. Yeah? Remember, I told you I've, I did four years of art. Eh? Yeah, I did four years of art, so I know what I'm saying. When you're painting artwork, an artist paints in layers. So depending on the project he's doing, he knows what colors to put first and last, and then when everything blends together, it becomes one, and you see the work that artist is doing. And we have a little clip there from Ted Sandiford, another great artist from St. Lucia, who is actually explaining and giving you a deeper insight on the Bamba Mall and the new colors. And wait till the end of the video, and I'm gonna share this one with you. 
Now, another thing to never judge an artwork at the beginning of the process. That will send you mad. If you have to sit down with professional artists that just make millions of dollars on the paintings, especially when you are creating abstract paintings or graffiti paintings on walls, you might not understand what they're doing until they finish. Because they come with many different layers that blend in together and create that one big image that you will see, which is the end product. But boy, some people ain't that. Now, can you blame those people? No. I will not call them ignorant. I will not call them homophobic or anything like that. Because we, you have to understand we are living in 2023 and it has been a number of years that the gays have been pushing those bright rainbow colors and claim it as their own. So seeing that these colors they're on the wall there, whether it's in the beginning of the end of the painting, some people's brains will auto automatically click and see what happened, Messi. I know it's a bam bam wall, but I hope it's female bam bam or not bam bam bam. You know what I'm saying? So there is nothing wrong in the people giving their opinions. But at the end of the day, when you see the end product, if you had that in your head, when you watch the end product, then your trend of thought should change at that time because it has the pitons, the oceans and stuff like that in it. And the other ends of the painting are just the artist stretching out the paint to cover the balance of the wall. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah? But Perry did a, Perry B did a good job and the fact that the government saw it fit and make it look so, and make it look so damn good I must applaud them once again. So I say there is nothing there is nothing much to get riled up about. I don't believe there is no a gay agenda there with the wall there. Because at the end of the day, if there is a gay agenda, that agenda out long time and doing the work already. Mm -hmm. That if there, uh, that agenda uh, if there is a gay agenda, that agenda there long time and doing the work already. So I say don't bash the artists. Don't bash the artists. Yeah? The artists did a fantastic job on the wall. But the opinion is yours to choose. Yeah, but don't forget me say, Perry Building gonna be in the description. Check him out if you want work done on your walls or for your events. Yeah, me say, so I hope that clear everything there, me say. And the Bamam wall looks fantastic. Yeah? Mm-hmm. This is Mazabas TV. Same family, keep trending. And we're out. So the mural is complete, and here is my critique. The mural is meant to highlight carnival in abstract form and has bright colors that blend together. The airbrush technique used in the mural was appropriate and makes it look smooth, magical, and dreamy. The bright colors represent happiness and excitement, which is carnival. The highlight of this mural for me is the center, which is the majestic Peters. They fuse well with the entire composition. The piece is very vivid and alive. I just love how so many colors were used and this helped make use of this horizontally long wall. I believe that this simplicity sells it. If I were to make any suggestions, I would have probably added the Amazona Versicolor and have its feathers spreading all over the wall since carnival costumes are filled with feathers, you know? But I'm really biased when it comes to our national bird. I like to incorporate it in everything. <laughs> That's just my two cents here. But this piece is simply amazing and it suits the purpose. There are so many spaces around the island which need to be beautified like this. Take a bow, Mr. Perry Baptist. <laughs> Excellent work, brother. <laughs>